Well, it's the end of the season, and this is my jalapeno plants. There's three or four here, but as you can see, it is loaded. I've got red ones, and I am going to pick these, and there's a good chance, there's Scooter, <laughs> there's a good chance you'll see some more jalapenos in my recipes. Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to do uh, jalapeno salt. It's going to be smoked jalapeno salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these cut up. I'm going to get them into the tailgater. I'm going to let them smoke for at least six hours. I may go eight. After that, I'll finish them off and let them dry in the dehydrator. But I want to get some nice smoke on those jalapenos. And then we'll show you how to make jalapeno salt. So let's. Keep going. Before I get started and get into cutting up these jalapenos, make sure you wear gloves because jalapeno heat can either absorb into your hands. I don't do too bad, but if you touch anything, rub your eyes, whatever, you don't want to have that jalapeno heat on your hands. Okay, so these are washed and dried, and all I'm going to do is cut the stems off, cut them in half. I've got a spoon. These are hot jalapenos and I don't want the innards. <laughs> I don't want the little bits of seeds or membrane in my jalapenos and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare all of these, get them on my wire rack and get them dehydrated. Okay so I ended up with two cooling racks full. I got one more tip. If you're going to use, uh, if you're going to use a little spoon to clear these out, Wear some glasses. I had my cheaters on. They're speckled with uh, jalapeno juice. So if you scoop them out with a spoon, know that these little hot bombs are going to try to get you in your eye wherever it can. But don't touch them. And anyway, let's get these in the smoker. I have it set at piece seven, this little tailgater. I don't know if you can see it, that uh, spider web in there. I'm going to move it to piece six to see if I can bring the temp up off of that 120, get it about 125 to 145, and uh, let it go six to eight hours. Okay, so I almost forgot to mention, I'm gonna use the Gourmet Bland Bear Mountain sweet and smoky flavor for these uh, for this jalapeno okay. sauce. As you can see, I have one tray in there. I'm gonna put the other tray right here. These trays are just a tad bit too long about a quarter inch that's okay these are just gonna get smoke I will have a little gap around the bottom it's totally fine the smoke still comes out the back everything's good it's at 135 right now so it got up there a little bit been in here for six hours looks like they're drying up pretty good now I'm going to transfer these to my dehydrator and we're going to let these uh, finish dehydrating there. So we had a pound and a half of jalapenos and it's only made this and this tray because of how much they shriveled. I'm going to dehydrate these outside so you don't get the odor of the uh, peppers. And we're going to put the top on and we are going to go at Oh, let's say 135. We'll uh, plug it in and uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, this is the next day. Here are our dried jalapenos. They break in half like that. They're dry. Whoops, I guess I didn't get that in the shot. <laughs> when they break like that and crunch you know they're dry okay all right so we're gonna get these in the grinder and grind them up for the next process okay so for this jalapeno salt I am going to use the Bear Mountain gourmet barbecue pellets that I used uh, for the jalapenos just gonna keep that going so you got to get your all right just like that we got a full tube and this uh, full tube will normally run about four to six hours. And the easiest way I find to uh, 
light the pellets in the smoker tube is with a little propane bottle. Okay, now I'm going to get these in the pellet smoker and just let them do their thing. Okay, so here I have my smoked jalapenos. I broke them down uh, into smaller pieces because I want to uh, put them in my coffee grinder that I don't use for coffee anymore. I got a different one. And we're going to make uh, get this ground down to kind of like salt. Anyway, so let's get that going. that in there hmm. all right there you go got our uh, jalapenos ground up nice and fine now we're going to get these things in the smoker with some salt and get our smoked jalapeno salt going. Okay, so I made a couple of little foil trays out of some foil. I have one half cup of kosher salt here. What I don't use, I will uh, just use this regular smoked salt. I'd rather have too much than too little. And then I'm also going to uh, go ahead and smoke the um, my jalapeno my ground jalapenos as well now you can see that uh, the salt to jalapeno re recipe is <coughs> oh got a little dust it's going to be a little more uh, than I need as far as the salt and when we mix this we'll gradually mix it till we get to the taste that we want but uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I've already, I tasted one of these. I should have done it on camera. I tasted a bit of it and it's really good. So let me get these in the smoker and it's gonna take whatever, four hours, five hours, however long. We'll just let it smoke and absorb all the smoke. All right, this is the setup I have. Uh, you don't want these too close. I have them on either side. You don't want it too, too close because once it starts burning here, it will put off some heat. So I'm gonna slide these uh, apart and we're gonna let it go okay let's check on our jalapeno salt look at the smoke running off of there that smoke tube is doing its job we're just going to move the salt around a little bit you can see the difference in the color hopefully you can see that we're gonna mix it up a little bit so that we can get uh, smoke on more of the salt. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the jalapenos, ground jalapenos that we smoked and dried yesterday and overnight. Okay, and we're gonna let it keep going. Looks like our smoker tube is doing really well. Let it go. Are about Look at all that nice smoke. About four hours in. I'm going to go ahead and pull these. We'll blend them and uh, go from there. Okay, so here's our jalapeno, ground jalapeno in the bowl. And uh, depending if you want salt with a hint of spice, is how much salt you're going to put in it. Or do you want the jalapeno with a hint of salt? Uh, I started with a half a cup of salt. So let me just add in just a couple of, I don't know, maybe oh, four of these spoonfuls. It's about, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half. Let's give it a try. Okay. That's like all jalapeno, barely any salt. Good and spicy. Not too spicy. Can we add in some more.
Okay, let's try this one. Okay, it's still a little heavy on the jalapeno for me. Depends what you're looking for. I want to be able to sprinkle this on just about everything. And uh, there is a good heat to that jalapeno. These jalapenos I, I grew were pretty hot. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to probably end up out of this salt, probably was a half a cup. Let's do so it's about a quarter cup. Okay, try it again. Okay, that's pretty good. Get the salt, you definitely still have that heat. Okay, I'm gonna add in a couple more of these little spoonfuls, probably end up being a tablespoon, maybe. So let me get that. Okay, there we go. Let's take another taste. That's a pretty good mixture. Definitely getting salt. Definitely have the heat. Still there. I think we're good. Just like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. We're gonna get this jarred up. I've got a little spice jar. And of course I've got my Man Kitchen Recipe sticker on there. I mean, Kitchen law, right? <laughs> All right, let's get this jarred up. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. Jalapeno salt, man kitchen recipes, jalapeno salt. It is a coarse grind. I use kosher salt. I smoke the jalapenos first, then I finish them off in the dehydrator to get them extra dry. We ground up the jalapenos. We smoked the salt and the jalapenos again for four hours. And just like uh, when you smoke cheese, let this, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of weeks so the smoky flavor can blend in. Smoke salt, you just let it go a couple of weeks and the smoke salt is delicious. I've got a little bit of smoke salt left over. We'll definitely be using that, but uh, there you go. Jalapeno salt. Smoked jalapeno salt. Thanks for watching. We'll be using this in recipes. I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, don't forget to hit the like, hit that subscribe, ring the bell, keep up with the cooks, and we'll see you on the next video.